What's going on guys, it's Dio here with Return of Dio Gaming on YouTube as always. And today is something uh, quite a bit different. Um, this guy right here, let's find him. RL52Beast well, had some questions with Vegas. He just got Vegas, he's trying to figure it out. I have Vegas, he asked me. So, going to run through different, a few different things. Uh, he asked me on Twitter, it's a very good way to contact me. Um, let me see here. Make a tutorial video on your tricks of your editing because I'm clueless right now. Stick his tongue out at me twice in a row. Um, but it's a great way to contact me to do stuff like this for you guys. So I'm going to give it a go. I didn't set anything up. I'm just going to talk about it as I do it. So first off, rewind and go back like in that clip. I'll show that clip real quick in case you're a little curious. TweetDeck is awesome. If you don't use TweetDeck, I highly suggest it. It's great when you have multiple accounts. That's really loud. Right there. That back and forth, I assume, is what he's talking about. Very simple. Very, very simple. Um, let's just see here. Let's open up some random file. Um, what do I have? Crazy Medic Game. It's going to take forever to open, but that's alright. Oh, I've already opened it, so it's fine. Okay, so what we're going to do... Say right here, let me take away that split. I do that so quick by hitting S on the keyboard if you're unaware. So say you're playing, I'm going to mute this because I don't want the audio on. And then it's like, oh, did you see how cool that was? And you want to play it backwards. You're going to take that little snippet of clip just right here. Move all this over. Turn this shit off. Control C to copy it. Control V to paste it. Right click. Reverse. And then copy it again and this one's going to be in forward motion so it's going to go forward backward forward drag this back to where it was uh, it might be really laggy see actually it's loading up here so give it a second um, I know this is kind of a pain I'm sorry see what else uh, the flashing letters and stuff like my whip video and shots of the night seven and slow motion uh, very easy stuff to do might be I mean I know it's hard when you first start out but very easy to show, and um, I'm glad to help out anytime I possibly can. Let's ignore Skype for now. They can get over it. Let's see, what else is going on? Uploading a video for Verb. How exciting is that? Got TweetDeck, got these, my Facebook. Creep on me, it's exciting. <sighs> Who am I sub to? Penguins, Red Bomb, Fox, or, um, F-O-C-S Rally X. I don't really know what any of that stands for, but he's really cool. Uh, he's on Twitter. Don't blink. S-X-E Phil. Help the Franco Shibby. Really helps him out. One Life Amy. Super hot motocross rider. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Oplin, better known as D-Crew Colin. Athale, better known as D-Crew Athale. Vsauce, some of the coolest videos you will ever see. I highly suggest subbing to them. Swordsman, better known as D-Crew Swordsman. I'm a fanboy. And I always hit watch later. I never mean to, but I always accidentally hit it. Alright, so let's see how this will go. So play. Oh, it's all laggy. Forward. And then there it goes backward and then back forward. If you highlight the area you want to play and then push Control B. Oh, Control B. Okay, I'm hitting the wrong button. Shift B. Shift B. Shift and B at the same time. Then it's going to render it out like that, and it's a RAM memory or something like that, RAM preview, so it should play through nice and smooth. And there you go, there's your back and forth motion. Now say, having it slower, that's where you want your, uh, having it backwards is where you want your slow motion to be. Uh, this button, it drags all clips at once, so see how it drags both those? If I turn it off, then it just drags the one. Uh, it's handy, but it also gets really annoying. But you're going to drag this out some to the right. Um, I'll turn it back off for this. Hold control and see how your little cursor changes uh, right there. It's normal. And now it has a little squiggly line. Drag it. Oh, I didn't mean to highlight that. Drag it to the right and see how it extends the clip. That's still going to be the same clip though. So it's going to be backwards but slow motion. As you can kind of tell there. I know it's choppy. I'm on a laptop. Forgive me. I will shift B it again. Let it run through. You can see this, sorry. I'm not very good at capturing on PC, as you can tell. And then play it, and there you go. Slow motion backwards. So that's just how you do it. Uh, damn it. So say this piece right here you think is awesome. 
um, you just hold control, drag it to the right. And there's only a certain amount. I can't drag it any further than that. That's as far as it'll go. And then that whole little clip is going to be in slow motion. So you just find the clip you want, and then you cut both sides of it, split it with S, drag the other side, and then you can do that. If you don't want to drag that out, if you actually have this on right here, then you can click drag and it will push it out. So whatever's clever, you can do it either way you want. And um, just like that, it's exactly the same. Say this is a really boring part in my video, then I will uh, control and drag it to the left. And that's going to speed it up. Uh, ram this one real quick. <laughs> ram this one. It's like 1.30 in the morning, I'm sorry, as you can see right there. Okay, so, there you go, sped up. So that's how you speed up and slow down. Um, get rid of all of this. Insert a video track. Insert some text here. Let's say, video is number one. Uh, my standard font that I know and love. Okay, so you have that, and it's just going to be normal, pretty boring text. I'm going to use this, and I use light rays. That's the one that makes it flash, so move this over, put this here so you can actually see what's going on. See how it kind of has that uh, effect around it, the light ray effect, I guess you could say. You can bump that shit up, and uh, so I'm going to start it out, and the keyframes, it starts out with nothing down there. It's going to build up. I'm going to set another one with nothing, so then this one is really sharp. Bam! Right there. That'll make it so nothing happens, nothing happens, and then boom! If you don't have this one here, then it's just going to slowly do it. It's going to go, it's going to build up. And so if you want it to like, if you're using dubstep or something and you want to hit it right on the uh, drop or something, you use this. So then it builds up, builds up, and then there's your drop. And then right after it, drop it back down. So it will run. See here? Bam. Just like that. I'll take that out just to show you. I mean, you might understand anyway, but goes. See how it builds up and it doesn't have that sudden hit. Um, so I'm going to add another zero one back in here. Uh, you know what, let's throw in an audio track, throw in some sort of music. I hate finding music on here. <laughs> iTunes music. Oh, not that one, I don't think. I think I want it here. We'll see. Um, I just know this has a pretty easy drop to find, so I'll just use it just for the sake of time and whatnot. Um, so of course you can see, like, you can usually tell where the drops are because of these. Sometimes not. Wrong one. I'm gonna want this one. Alright, so let's just grab that. Again, it was S to cut that and then just delete and then just click and drag it on over. So, let's take away all these little keyframes that I set up just to, actually, no, just delete this as a whole. So now my clip is absolutely nothing. So we're going to go into Light Rays, Add, and what I like to do is not get that stuck in there. Put this wherever you can see both uh, things at. Make sure you set this to zero and slide over and then you can see here where your drop is going to be right on the drop I put the dot and then BAM right there and then right in front of it actually you can zoom in I'm doing this by just scrolling my mouse wheel uh, control Z is your best friend if you ever mess up you can hit control Z and it undoes your last um, command or whatever so if I didn't mean to put that control Z oh, didn't work that time of course it didn't if I delete this control Z got it back so you can see nothing there, and then bam, right on the hit. And then after it, of course, go back down. It might be a little a little too fast. Let's see here. Alright, so that was pretty good. I don't know if you guys can hear that audio or not. Okay, so then... And if you wanted it through there, like, just say a flashing or something. I really enjoy using the brightness and contrast. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work with just text, though. Sometimes you need video for this one. Just got another tweet from him. Um, let's see if I can do that in a second. Um, yeah, it doesn't work like this. If I had video, I'd show you with the brightness and contrast. But it's pretty much exactly the same thing, um, honestly. 
So let's just use it as light rays. So of course you can see on there, let's have nothing here. And then zoom in, try to hit these right on. All right here, I'm going to have, I'm not going to do a full flash, just a nice small one. And then a full flash here as well. But then in between it, I'm going to drop it down. That's as far in between as I can go to zero. So it's going to go flash, zero, flash, hopefully on these hits. And then usually you can control, 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 control C, which just selected all these and copied it. And then control V, control V, control V. So you're just copying and pasting at this point. Um, let's see, is that the last one I wanted? Yep. And then drop this last one down to a zero. I might have messed that up. We will see in a second. So now let's just play it and see. So I mean, that, that came out pretty good for a really rough, quick run. Okay. Alright, so there's that, that, and that. And let's see here. Go check this tweet. I don't know what my video is pushing. 11 minutes. Holy shit. Um, good thing I can upload for days on here. You make the guy zoom forward. 25 seconds. Oh, if this is the one that I think he's talking about, this is going to be a lot harder. A lot, lot harder. Not impossible, just much harder. Yes, that is what I was thinking of. Alrighty. Much harder. <laughs> That's okay. Pull in another clip of some sort. Uh, try to keep your stuff organized. I'm not amazing at it, but... Uh, capture and then battlefield and then Vietnam. I don't have anything in there. I'm gonna just keep stuff keep stuff up as I go. 15 minutes, 23 minutes, 20 minutes. Ugh, I don't have any short clips. Of course, just waiting. I'm just gonna do it with this quad right here. So what I do, I cut right where I want the picture to be, then go up and take your little picture function and go picture. And when it saves, it'll actually come right in here, nice and handy. Put it in there. I'm going to add another video track. Put that same picture above it, alright? Oh man, alright, so then we're going to go to this. We're going to click mask. Um, might go back to position actually, so we can, oh damn it, didn't mean to do that. Control Z, best friend again takes a while since I'm doing so much, but as you can see, it reset me exactly where I wanted to be. Move this up so when I zoom in, I'm more on this stupid quad. Go back down to mask. Make sure you're not clicked on position. You're clicked on mask so you get a different set of tools. And then this is going to be super rough. We're just going to cut around this guy. You can get as precise as you want, or you can just kind of screw it over like this. It depends on the quality you want of it in the end. So as you can see, I'm hardly sticking with it. Um, don't really care that much right now. So we have him cut out. Let's mute this layer. So you can see all it ha has is him. When this layer comes back in, it puts in the background. So then we're going to take this, go back to your position. And right now it's just like that. Um, put a new keyframe. And you're going to, if you zoom it out, it goes the other way. We're going to zoom it in and see how it comes up. You can even move it if you want so it like disappears up into the top left corner. I'm not good enough to cut out the actual quad in the second background. Um, as you can actually see in that video, where was it? Um, the guy is still in the background after he comes forward and then kind of gets blown up, I guess you could say. So pull, oh, pull him out, but he's still there. I'm not good enough to cut him out, but others are, I know. Uh, go back to it, sorry. And so now hopefully that quad will fly out to the side, so bam, just like that. And of course that's how the keyframes are set up. If we slide this one in closer, that's going to make that whole action faster. So bam, it goes flying out. And then of course you can dick around with it more, slow down a little bit, and then actually have it come back. Actually, you know, we could do it like uh, control C and then control V so it is there, it goes out, it comes back, and then say it goes off the other way or something. Uh, this way while getting smaller. So, like I said, I'm just goofing around with it, so now it should go. See, might have to shift B it. 
bam, bam, bam. Yep. Uh, simple as that. And then, of course, you can add effects to make it blow up. And you can even do light rays on it. I don't know why you would, but you can. It's like... Um, I just put in one keyframe, of course, so just like that. Um, I'm going to cut the video off here because I know it's getting super long. I hope this helped you guys out. Um, I know it's really, really long, 15 and a half minutes, awesome. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, hope it helped you out. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. I usually don't ask for that, but since it is a tutorial, I'd really appreciate that. Until um, next time, guys, take it easy. If it's easy, take it twice, and I'll see you.